I'm Samuel Ake, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you 10 different secrets that is stopping you from taking your finger style guitar technique to the next level. Yes, when we say finger style guitar technique, it simply means playing the guitar with our fingers and not the plectrum. And that's just the opposite of it. Playing the guitar with our fingers and not the plectrum. A synonymous word to finger style guitar is finger picking. Finger picking is um, a style of play on the finger style. So everything, every tip in this video probably will apply to you if you meant finger picking guitar technique. This lesson is directed towards um, the intermediate player. However, if you are a beginner guitar player, I would strongly recommend that you watch this video and you will be saving yourself a lot of time of practice. And besides, most of us pick up many bad attitudes, many bad techniques while we were learning at first, which can be very difficult to correct over a long period of time. So um, please carefully watch every step in this video so you don't miss a thing. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing would be always floating. Always floating. You can see my hand the way I positioned it. This is more common with um, finger style. Um, it's more, this is more common with um, classical guitar player. As you can see, the, this sitting position is more common to the classical guitar player. So you will notice most people would likely um, play the guitar sitting in this position. It is okay, it is okay either way, whichever you find convenient. I have practiced this way over years, so um, I choose to play like this. So um, the problem, the first thing is always floating. It is good to always float your finger this way over the sound hole or all across all over the string. So, and you can get a good technique out of it. But, if you anchor down one or two of your fingers, it helps you to play more solid. You feel solid while you play. So, when you anchor down your pinky, I would strongly I recommend you anchor down the pinky and not two, three or four fingers. So anchor down just the pinky. It makes you play more solid. It gives you rhythm. It also gives your hand, um, it gives your hand a definite coordinate. So you can never get lost. You always know where your fingers are. Position your fingers accordingly. So um, I position my fingers like that. As I give more tip, we'll talk more on um, different ways, different ways of positioning your finger and the better one that I choose. Okay, so if you anchor down, you'll be able to um, grind yourself in, you'll be able to um, position your hand firmly in a single position so and of course that would reduce a lot of movements so and you will never get lost so you don't end up playing strings that you don't want to play you don't end up playing um you don't get um unwanted string to start shrinking so um how would you practice this for um like two to three days non-stop Try to practice, no matter what you do, always keep the pinky down. Beat chord. So, or you are spelling chords like. Beat, you are spelling chords. Whatever you play, just make sure you anchor down and you will notice you feel more solid 
while you're playing and you don't easily get lost. And that's the first thing. Let's move on to the next. Yes, and the next um, thing stopping you from taking your finger style guitar technique to the next level is always playing patterns. Patterns are great. Um, one of my songs, I call Jehovah My Lord, I played it using pattern, using triad, scratch pattern, the sound print. Look at this triad. The intro goes like this. So I was playing pattern, doing one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And the pattern, the pattern sounds great. That is a very simple pattern to play. And it's good as a beginner to play that way. Um, however, always playing pattern limits you to the finger picking world. So, and um, patterns are good. They have their places, so, but it does not give you that freedom to play whatever you like. So um, this is my suggestion. I recommend that you should practice, practice, keep practicing pattern, but practice different pattern. Practice different pattern. So practice different patterns, practice different patterns and mix them all. patterns and mix them all up then practice scale very well enough when you practice scale you um, find out that there's no way you'll be playing scale and you will be playing pattern except if you are running through the scale up and down so if you are practicing the scale it allows you to play something different when we play pattern we're mostly playing chords mostly play, playing chords so but if you want to get out of that practice scale more we have different scales to practice the pentatonic scale the um the major scale etc etc okay yes let's move on to the next and that would be not down picking with the index finger people that plays with the plectrum has the lost tree of down picking. So they have the lost tree of down picking with their with plectrum. And it seems like finger style guitar player can do the same. But as you can see, we have this instrument at our, at our disposal and it can do just absolutely everything you can do with a plectrum. Down picking like this, open, it opens up door to unlimited possibilities and um, you, you get access to a wide range of tone color to spice up your playing. So, practice down picking. Practice down picking with the nail of your index finger. You will notice um, down picking um, a power chord. Like I said earlier, this lesson is not directly, um, it's not directed um, specifically to beginner guitar player. It's why I'm not going into detail um, as to what I am doing right now. A problem you can run into while down picking is wearing of your nail. Your nail could start to wear and for some people it can hurt a bit so, and for some people it feels awkward but with practice you can get over all of that. 
And there's something, a habit tip, there's something you can do about the wearing of your nail, and that would be wear glass nail. If you're wearing glass nail, the glass nail wears, and your finger stays in. So when I started playing the game, when I started um, finger style guitar playing, at first I noticed almost all my fingers are wearing faster than they can regenerate. So then I come up with the idea one day that I should um, fix nail. And when I did, it really worked wonder because it, 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 it solved the problem. The problem just went off. So you can wear nail. So for some of us, it can be a problem wearing nail and going to work the next day and people start asking what do you have there and there are some of us that work in places where that such is not allowed so um, you can trim down the nail and probably get it painted with colors that will match your fingernail you understand that will match your fingernail so that people won't be noticing it and those times I wear the fingernail all over or on all of my fingers people don't really notice because I don't make it obvious. I trim those nails down properly. So practice down picking. So you simply um, position, you, you hold your fingers like you are holding a plectrum and you just get the nail going. So you can add that to your playing and of course you sort I open the door to different possibilities, a lot of possibilities. So so that is those are open chords. Of course I can do that with back chords. You can do that with back chords. any chords so or I can choose to um, do that with the uh, power chords so whatever you practice and I can you can do single notes with it especially the three strings here so the um, E A and D string yeah try that out and trust me you are gonna be surprised with the outcome try me out okay let's move on to the next and that is not alternating picking with your inner snail. Just like with your skip, you can alternate pick with your inner snail. Very fast. Just like someone that is a black drum. A common limitation to finger style is peeling up. So you can achieve um, a great shredding speed with the plectrum, but it seems finger style is limited. Um, actually, we have a lot of guitar players that can play very fast. So, um, but not everyone can achieve that speed um, by picking. So, by finger style picking. So, but as a beginner, you can incorporate um, alternate picking with the index fingernail. So all you need to do is just keep a little bit of the nail and use it to alternate pick. You can practice K with it. So you can do that with your nail. So um, try that out and it can Take your plane to the next, next level. Yes, let's move on to the next tip, and um, that would be not palm muting. Not palm muting. Hmm. Palm muting can tremendously improve your playing more than you think. As a beginner player, when we pick up the guitar and we we get to playing, we find out that many notes that we do not intend to play always ring along. So to avoid that, 
palm mute, palm mute with this fleshy part of your hand. Just place it right on top of the string. So while you play, so it can help you mute the bass note. Now it does not just mute the bass note. Sometimes it also help you create um, muted notes, dead notes. So which are of course different from notes that you left alone to ring. So. notes are muted so and when you're playing as well it also helps you to keep notes unwanted notes from ringing should in case your fingers are ringing all the notes they are touching other notes that you don't want to uh, soil your playing so that you can play playing So, um, so place down the fleshy part of your hand on the string and it mute the string. Please, please, if you are getting any value from the video so far, you can do me a favor by please hit that like button. It will go a long way in helping this video and it will help others find the content of this video, please do that and it will help the whole channel at life. Thank you so much. So let's move on. The next thing to stop your guitar process is not using enough fingers. Imagine if I am playing um, with just, if I'm fretting with just one finger, They look at me, I'm using three fingers. So if I if I start playing scale with a single finger, look at that, I'm using multiple fingers. Because it's easier that way. So if I limit my playing to few fingers on the left hand, of course, it would limit me. Now, how much more so is the right hand? You see what I'm trying to say? Play with all of your fingers, if possible. That would be contradictory to the very first tip I gave. We should be anchoring down. So, um, so we can let alone this finger. So, but the other four fingers should be utilized. Make sure you are using all of these four fingers. While you anchor down here, position this um, finger, position this ring man, ring finger, on um, the E string, the high E string, down here, then position the middle finger on um, the B string and the pointer, the index finger, on the G string while you leave the, the remaining um, six strings of here, E, A and D, to the tongue. From the very beginning, that is how you should practice. That is how you should practice. Position your finger this way. Use all of this finger. In fact, sometimes you want to throw in a little bit of the pinky as well. Especially when you have to spell chords. When you have to spell chords, you can use all five fingers. Like, like this. Look at that. So if I'm using two or three fingers, it will be difficult to produce similar sound. So use all five fingers sometimes. And while you anchor down, use at least four of your fingers. practicing try to use as many fingers as possible do not limit yourself to just this finger 
just these two or just these three, use as many fingers as possible. If you continue to practice in a specific way, you will notice a lot of changes in your playing. The way you practice, that is the way you end up playing. So you don't practice in a way and expect yourself to play in certain ways, in other ways when you get to real life setting, to play a real song. So from the very practice moment, from for every moment during your practice, use as many fingers as possible, and all of them will get used to working, and we won't have lazy ones. Why do we have so many fingers? Why do we have five? You will see, if we have had six, probably it would have been better, because that means you will have one finger by screen. But the five is sufficient, of course. So, and you have everything you need here. So, of course, you don't need more fingers. These are sufficient. So, use them. So, and try that out. And from the very beginning, practice like this. And by the time as your technique improves, you will find it easier to play that way. So, we are always proud of everything we go through. It is how you, the, the, the way you practice that will shape the results the kind of guitar player you're going to be in the end. Whatever you aim for is what you will achieve. So, practice with as many fingers as possible. If possible, possibly all five fingers. All of the fingers, use them. Yes. Let's move on to the next. Are you keeping count? The next thing stopping you from progressing in your Finger style guitar playing is stagnant picking position. That is what I call it. Stagnant picking position. Due to our sitting posture, as you can see, we can sometimes limit ourselves to playing in a single position. Look at this. Some people would mostly play over the sound hole right here. Why some people would play? close to the um close to the neck here some people play here um then you can also play here somewhere around here if you try it out out on your guitar you will find out this area this area feels and sounds differently the simple um, idea is the tension you feel as a player while you play increases as you move towards the bridge here so you will feel a lot of tension in the string down here than you will feel down here and we all know everybody runs away from tension nobody wants tension i don't want tension too but when it comes to guitar playing i will suggest that you play closer to the bridge practice playing more closer to the bridge i don't mean this close Okay, but practice closer to the bridge somewhere here. In fact, play your melodies there. Try this over here. Practice more over here. Now, I don't mean you should limit yourself playing closer to the bridge. So instead, play all over the place. In fact, play all over the place. They all feel and sound differently. You should be aware of that. All professional guitar players can play all over the place. They don't focus on just a single position. So doing so, everyone looking at you, of course, will know that you are pro at what you do. So start practicing that from the very beginning. Practice close to the bridge on the sound hole and close to the neck even over the neck over the fretboard here practice all over the place so that you can get a different um, tone color so and spice up your playing yes um let's move on to the next tip and that will be playing melody with a tone Playing melody with a tone. I would recommend that when you start, uh, try not to 
play most of your melodies with the tongue. I see beginner player do something like. Can you see that? So you see some people tend to do that, playing the melody with it. Hmm? Do not play the melody with the tongue. Sometimes you could have to um, play some parts of the melody a little bit. So, but do not primarily use your tongue for playing melody. Instead, use the other fingers for playing your melody. Okay? Use the other fingers for playing the melody. fingers to play, use these fingers to play the melody. Do not play the melody with the tongue. So, and you are going to see why as we move on to the next point, to the next prison, stopping you from taking your finger style playing to the next level. And that would be not separating the bass line. Missing up the bass line and the melody and the whole thing all up. The best way to perceive um, music played on guitar should be... Um, actually, for me, I perceive... Uh, if you notice the sheet music written for piano, you will see that the treble is written apart for melody, and the bass is written on separate part for the bass line. So these allow piano players to play the bass line with their left hand and the higher um, melodic part with the um, right hand. So they clearly se se separate the bass line so, such that the harmony can be felt by listeners. They can clearly um, differentiate between the bass line and the um, the high higher melody because most of the time the melody part of, part of every com composition seems to be at the, on the um, higher octaves. So we can replicate the same on the guitar. So um, try to separate the bass line that accompanies the melody. Um, Travis speaking, Travis speaking is um, a very good thing to practice to get good at this. So, um, practice um, trying out, play just the bass line, especially this three string, play them with your tongue. So, um, you can play patterns like You will notice that is the iconic, iconic um, Travis speaking tone. So I can add that bass line to my playing. So practice Travis, Travis speaking. There are many exercises all over the internet you can practice. So I, in subsequent videos, I will go deep into these details. So um, keep up with me by smashing that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you, uh, you get notified when I upload the next video. And please, if you are enjoying this video so far, if you are enjoying this great tip that I'm giving so far, please um, smash that like button. Smash that like button. It's really, it's a really long way to pin this video. So, um, let's go back to business. Separate the bass line from the melody. Learn crappy speaking. That is, um, that is the best tip I can give you there. Learn Travis speaking, practice it and play with it. So um, a great guitar player used to say, get your tongue to have its own brain. When the tongue has its own brain, just trust him and leave him. He's going to do his job while the other fingers do theirs. And there you have it.
Work on that and your finger style playing will greatly improve. Let us move on to the next. Yes, and the next tip I'll be given is shutting the drama out. Not adding percussive sound. The guitar is a full-blown instrument and you have everything you need right here, trust me. You have everything you need right here. You have every kind of snare, even hot. I know someone, they used to play here. You probably know him, a great player, a great player indeed. So we have every percussive element we want here. You have your kick drum there. So, if you practice, you can add all of these elements into your playing. So, um, look, look at, look at this. You can add all these percussive elements into your playing. progress you probably will never get perfect but you are definitely going to progress so practice add percussive element into your playing so all these percussive element is what makes some um, acoustic guitar player stand out if you're not going to add if you're gonna add no percussive element into your playing in fact I think I should be asking why do you choose to play acoustic guitar and why not an electric guitar? Because on electric guitar, we don't have that at our disposal. So, but on acoustic guitar, we can do all of that, all of those. So, add percussive element into your playing. So, practice. You can start with little, um, a simple rhythm like this. Just sit down there and practice something like this, okay? So, then you can add skill into it. can add a little practice like that I am playing scale you can add a little bit or something like that to your um, playing so and the more you practice the better you get actually this is kind of intuitive you can add any percussive element whichever way you want it please there is no rule that guys have to do this thing just in case you start searching for the internet looking for specific ways to play this you get tips like this but play it the way you want to play it. Do what you want to do. Be, get creative with this. You can do it. And your kind of creativity is what nobody else has. And that's how we roll. Okay, let's move on to the next tip. And this next tip is very important. And that is not adding strums. Adding strums and advanced strums into your finger style playing will make you playing, will get you playing like a pro. Um, the basic strumming pattern is the down, up, down, up. It is true that you have to get that down first. Get the basic strumming down first. The 
Then after that, you can start practicing different um, strumming pattern, like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. There are many um, strumming patterns that you can see online. So um, different strumming patterns that you can use. So like. This is how it sounds on the chord. I like that strumming pattern a lot and I use it in some of my songs. You can share them out, check them out on the channel. So add all these strums into your playing. You now you can add advanced strum like the rumba flamenco strum pattern. So um the basic of this strumming pattern is um is so just that four moves. Let me do it slowly with your nails, then, 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 then. Those are the moves. One, two, three, and four. One. So you can get fast with it. So look at it. That sounds like reggae, right? Okay. So um sometimes you can mix that up with your playing. Then there are some strumming, there are some um, um, flamenco strumming that could also be great, like... So if you release any of the finger, you fold your hands like this and you release the finger, you flip the fingers one after the other. So. Sometimes you can target a single note. You see that? Target a single note. So, you can add that to your playing. All those different patterns, you can incorporate them into your playing. And people know beautiful music when they hear someone and they know. Great guitar players when they see is one. So practice is all it takes. Promise me you're gonna practice. I trust you. And there you have it. Please, if you get value from this video, click that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel for great videos like this. I will um, upload um, great tips for finger style acoustic guitar player like this periodically. So then you can also get, you also find beautiful music, guitar playthrough, so a little bit of bass playthrough on this channel. So subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And remember to hit the like button. And please write in the comment, what guitar technique would you like to learn? Which guitar technique do you want to learn next? Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you taking your time watching the video from beginning to the end and have a nice day. Love ya.